we just want to remind you that there's still time to register to vote. We've partnered with the nonpartisan organization Headcount and former First Lady Michelle Obama's nonpartisan voter organization, When We All Vote, to get as many people registered to vote before Election Day. It's so easy. You can do it right now on your phone. Just text the word R-E-A-L, real. Real, that's R E A L two four zero six four nine. Again, that's R E A L to four zero six four nine to register to vote with headcount or to get election alerts to help you stay informed if you're already registered to vote. Yeah, they'll text you back with a link where you can fill in all your info and sign up so that you're ready for the midterm elections in November. And remember, you must re-register to vote anytime you have a change of address and if you've moved locally. So make sure to update your voter registration. Now, deadlines vary from state to state, so be sure to visit thereal.com to find out when yours is. And remember, the future is voting, and we all have to do our part mm -hmm. to make sure our voices are heard. We want to hear your voice. We'll see you at the polls November 6th. Halloween has come and gone, but some people ended up... Stop looking at me like that. I was trying to be dramatic. Okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> some people ended up being more trick than treat and caused some major Halloween havoc. So we let you vote on who took the biggest Halloween L or lost this weekend and earned a haunted ride on the L train. <laughs> Every year, there seems to be a costume controversy, and this year's belongs to snowboarder Sean White. Mm -hmm. Sean was called out by the Special Olympics after he posted a picture of himself dressed as Simple Jack, Ben Stiller's intellectually disabled character from the movie mm. Tropic Thunder. Okay. Upon seeing the picture, the Special Olympics said, in part, we are truly disappointed that Sean White, an acclaimed Olympian, would choose this costume, which is so offensive and causes so much pain. Disability is not a joke, nor should it be a punchline. Yep. Yeah. Since the controversy, Sean has pulled the photo off his social media and issued an apology saying, I owe everyone in the Special Olympics community an apology for my poor choice of Halloween costume the other night. It was a last minute decision. It was the wrong one. I'm sorry for being insensitive. Lesson learned. So, will Sean's costume catastrophe land him on the L train this week? We'll find out soon. I don't know how you can mix that up with yeah, like, a costume. You know at what I mean? all. Like sometimes you gotta ask yourself, what's wrong with people? Yeah. 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 Like what's what's how does wrong that go over with your you? head? And and it wasn't just the costume. The face isn't everything terrible. Speaking of offensive costumes, our next L train candidate is a white man in London who was caught on the subway dressed in blackface as Samuel L. Jackson's character, Jules, from the movie Pulp Fiction. The video, which was taken by makeup artist Petra Isabella Jolie, what? shows a woman confronting the man and asking <gasps> him if he thinks wearing blackface is racist. The man, in response, simply required, replied, quote, it's a person I like, why not? More ignorance. The viral video has shocked so many viewers, mostly due to the man's indifferent attitude about wearing blackface just days after Megyn Kelly was let go by NBC, to partly because she said she didn't find anything wrong with wearing it. Mm. So, will the white man who tried to look like Sam Jackson be looking for snakes on the L train? See what I did right there? Yeah, I saw <laughs> This week, it's time to find out. Let us know, Tam. Okay, are you ready to find out who's yes. taking the L yes. train? I think we kind of, they're oh. all go. They're both bad. I know. This is bad. This, this one's bad. Yeah. One. Will Put it be? Put both of them. Put both of them. Will it be Sean White for his simply horrible judgment? Or will it be the blackface Pulp Fiction they're passenger? Both bad. Audience, what do you guys think? I said both. Both? both? Okay, yeah, let's audience. see who you chose. Blackface. That's yeah. right, 85% of you voted for him. So I'm sorry, but you're going to have to nurse your Halloween hangover on the, the L train. L -train.